Howdy, welcome back to the homestead. Uh, since our last garden update, uh, slugs have almost destroyed my peppers. So today I'm going to make up uh, a solution that I've used in the past. Uh, it seems to work really good, uh, at least on beetles. I don't know about slugs, but I guess we're going to find out. Uh, but what I have here is 100% cold pressed neem oil. This comes from uh, a tree that supposedly locusts won't even eat this tree when they have big locust swarms in the Middle East. Uh, the locusts will eat everything, but they won't eat the neem tree. So we're going to mix that in a gallon of water. This water is a little bit more than lukewarm. It's uh, not hot, but warm. And I don't know if that's necessary, but to me it seems like it will make this mix better. So what I'm going to do, whew, that stuff stinks. I'm going to put two tablespoons of neem oil. in the water but this uh, as you can see there oil and water don't mix and all the neem oil just immediately floated to the top so I'm going to take some pure Castile soap um, I have used in the past uh, Dr. Bronner's sal suds but I was at Myers the other day and this was about four dollars cheaper so it should be pretty close to the same thing well, it smells good it's got peppermint oil in it sounds like my neighbor's shooting so we're going to put two tablespoons of this in there and this soap will act as an emulsifier and what an emulsifier is is it's got properties that will mix with water and oil so it will allow the water to or the oil to mix into the water so let me get this mixed up here I'm doing this in a tea jug because I wanted to mix up a gallon of it uh, but the only sprayer that I have is a half a gallon. And my gallon, when the uh, check valve in it is wore out and it wouldn't hold pressure. But as you can see, now the oil and soap is thoroughly mixed into the water and it doesn't immediately go to the top of it. But I do, when I'm using this, constantly just shake it because you want to make sure you get the neem oil on the plants any kind of chewing insect um, I guess anything that eats the leaves will stay away from this stuff because it tastes horrible apparently I don't think it necessarily kills them but it makes them not want to come back. Which is fine with me. This is, uh, got some parts from two different sprayers that I put together to make one working one a couple years ago. But, the combination of the two works better than the two either one of the two original ones so worked out pretty good all right I'm gonna shut this camera off and take you over to the garden and 
we'll spray this on the tomatoes and the peppers and probably everything else too and just spray it on so you have to ignore the fact that I haven't weed eated around these uh, pots yet uh, sounds like a turkey call Too much pressure. So I'll just go through here and spray this on everything, even the stuff that the bugs haven't got to yet. There, that's better. Finish up here with the porch maters. Now, if you spray this on any of your fruits, just make sure you wash it off good before you eat them because this stuff probably tastes pretty bad. So, there you have it it's an organic pest control. Um, I'll try to be as organic as possible. I know that uh, some of the, like the potting soil may not necessarily be organic that I bought. Uh, and I, I don't really get that particular about it, but I, I don't use any kind of chemical fertilizers or chemical pesticides. Uh, but that's all I got for you today. Uh, God bless you, and we'll see you on the next one.